PD5 Pilot with you out at the Hillsboro Hangar, and uh, yes, I do have some good work done today, and that engine is sitting in the airplane right now. You'll recall in the last video I was uh, showing those uh, little shims, those uh, spacers I had made, and there they are. And you notice there's a gap in these upper spacers, and the bottom ones are sitting nice and flush. It's because when I got the engine in, this alignment was slight. That the engine was sitting just a little too high, so I'm going to have to pull those bottom adjusters back out and shave a little bit off of them to bring this into correct position. But the lateral position looks really good. Looks like I'm dealing with about a three and six, three and three sixteenths long jack shaft, which I now can have uh, made since I know the dimensions it's going to be. And we can work on the rest of the uh, wiring this engine in. So that's what the plug arrangement is going to look like. There's are the EGT sensors. And then the CHT sensor is going to come off of one of the spark plugs. And then I have to decide, I might look into, you see how these got these little threaded inserts. Now those are for a compression relief if you're uh, hand propping this in a uh, para parachute or a uh, large scale RC aircraft. And those are just plugged on mine. But... I think I could put the CHT sensor right there and then have something that doesn't deal with taking it on and off all the time with the uh, spark plug. And then those little holes you see right there are where those are going to feed through so they can uh, get wired into the uh, Garmin avionics so that engine instrumentation can uh, tell me what they're doing. Haven't cut the holes yet for the uh, NACA ducts that are for the cooling system. But uh, I'm still kind of deciding how I'm going to arrange that. I think I might build a box onto those that then feeds the uh, intake systems into those, those velocity stacks for the carburetors and then run scat tubing up to a uh, make something that, that turns this into a plenum up here above the engine and kind of seals that engine off so the air is forced to flow up into that plenum and then down across the engine and then of course the suction is going to be created by the uh, exhaust venturi which was a, one of the Jim Beatty designs on the aircraft so I have to design these uh, exhaust to exit out so turn 90 degrees and go out to the center of that little opening and I'm going to keep those as far away as I can from the uh, autopilot servo and of course, back here, this is where this uh, this is where this exits out. So we can look inside of that exhaust jet venturi and see how all that operates. Let's go look at the other side now. Because this drive system, this Koth drive system, was originally designed for a Honda installation, it is offset. So as a result, my engine sits just a little bit over to the left. It's not center line. But that does allow me to kind of weight distribute the uh, battery, which sits on the right, the engine that sits a little bit here. I'm a little concerned, I'm still concerned that these might be just slightly in the way, so I got to look into some, some ways of getting these so where they don't chafe against that engine cover, or actually even building a small bubble right along that part that hopefully doesn't interfere too much with the airflow over the horizontal stabilizer. I know the guys that have put larger bubbles here to accommodate a wide engine, uh, like a boxer engine, that uh, a regular aircraft engine that has the opposed cylinders, but it's too wide for the aircraft. That's really created burbles into the uh, elevator system that uh, people don't like. But you can see how it's really coming together. So. Yeah, I've got my work cut out for me to shave these uh, spacers down a little bit. That spacing for the uh, generator cooling is looking good. I've got the holes drilled on this side, and then I have to build a little box there and then uh, figure out how to plumb the air up into it. It'll probably come from a little hole down in the uh, pan right there that sits uh, above the uh, gear. And uh, make sure it doesn't interfere with the rest of the wiring and the cables and everything that's already in there. But uh, that'll keep the engine area isolated from the aircraft, the pilot area, so I don't have to deal with potential fumes. Granted, they'd have to come forward, but it still could happen. Well, I thought you'd like to see that uh, the work is looking good and uh, everything is fitting as designed. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. BD5 Pilot's out for now. We'll see what more I get done this weekend. I'm going to post another video.